death of, this, of Saul chasing David, the Lord gives David a word. I'm going to give your enemy into your hands. And you can do whatever you want to him. So in 1 Samuel 24, David's back in a cave with his, with his mighty men. I don't know, 300 of them, 400 mighty men. They're in this cave. And, and Saul is chasing David, and he has to go to the bathroom. And so he goes into the cave by himself, not knowing that David and the mighty men are in the cave. And you can imagine he's in a vulnerable situation. <laughs> and David and his men move deeper into the cave, and one of David's men says, David, this, that's King Saul. And this is the fulfillment of the word you got. I'm going to give your enemy into your hand. Do whatever you want to him. And the men want to kill Saul, of course. And David says, far be it from me that I should lay my hands on God's anointed. And David sneaks in while Saul's going to the bathroom and cuts off a piece of, his, of Saul's robe, waits till Saul's a ways away and comes out of the cave with his mighty men and says, Saul, oh Saul, look at your robe. Saul looks down. You can imagine there's a piece of his robe missing. And David goes, missing this? I could have taken your life, but I, got, but I will not touch God's anointed. And Saul says to David, you are a better man than me. You deserve the kingdom. And he repents and he goes back to his his palace, but he's, got, he's so bitter and hateful and angry and unforgiving and jealous and whatever those emotions are, whatever those choices are, that, he's, that he, a spirit of insanity is on him. And so uh, 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 ne the next season, he's chasing David again. And 1 Samuel 26 describes this, this chase, and, and David and his men are barely able to keep stay in front of Saul and, his, and the army, the whole army of Israel is after David and his three, four, five hundred men. And they're going around this mountain and the Bible says that David is just trying with all of his might to stay ahead of King Saul. And then at nightfall, they're sleeping and David said, who wants to go down with me to meet Saul? And I think it was a... Uh, Abishi, or one of David's men, says, I'll go with you. And David goes down, and it says this, and a, a deep sleep from the Lord fell upon all of Israel. Get this, a deep sleep from the Lord. How many know, now he's got a prophetic word. What's the word? I'm going to give your enemy into your hand, and you can do whatever you want to him. And now he's got a sign from heaven, a deep sleep from the Lord is upon all the army of Israel. And David's man mighty men goes down with him the sword of the of his of Saul's armor bearer is right there in the dirt and he says to David let me take the sword and I'll just thrust it to his heart and I'll just do it once and David said I will not touch God's anointed and so they take the sword they go up to the top of the mountain I don't know how much longer how, how long it took but the, all the men wake up and David goes missing something and he tells Saul's armor bearer, hey, I think you were supposed to be protecting the king. Instead, you were asleep on the job. And Saul wakes up and says to David, you are a better man than me. The kingdom should be yours. How many know David's anointed king? David's got the robe from Jonathan. Are you following me? But David refuses to take his rightful place because he loves Saul, as he loves himself, he loves Jonathan, as he loves himself, he made a covenant. And he says, even though God gave it to me, even though your son gave it to me, even though God gave me a word, and God said, do whatever you want to him, David said, I choose to honor him, even though he doesn't deserve it. Why? Because I love the person who doesn't love me.